Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Part 3 Geotechnical Engineering Soil Question and Answer 1. Define CPT The cone penetrometer is a device by which a 60-degree cone with a base area of 10 cm 2 is pushed into the soil, and the cone end resistance QC, to penetration is measured. Most cone penetrometers that are used commonly have friction sleeves that follow the point. This allows independent determination of the cone resistance, Q, C, and the frictional resistance, F, C, of the soil above it. The friction sleeves have an exposed surface area of about 150 square centimeters. 2. What are the uses of standard penetration test? The ultimate bearing capacity of cohesion-less soil is determined from the standard penetration number N. The standard penetration test is conducted at a number of selected points in the vertical direction below the foundation level at intervals of 75 cm or at a point where there is a cange of strata. An average value of NIS obtained between the level of the base of footing and the depth equal to 1.5 to 2 TIMES the width of the foundation. 3. Write short notes on spacing of boreholes. The spacing of boreholes depends upon the variation of subsurface soil in the horizontal direction. The factors influencing the spacing of boreholes are Type of soil, Fluctuation of water table, Load coming from structure, Importance of the structure. Economic Feasibility 4. Write short notes on auger boring Augers are used in cohesive and other soft soils above water table. Hand augers are used for depths up to about 6 METER. Mechanically operated augers are used for greater depths and they can also be used in gravely soils. Sample recovered from the soil brought up by augers are badly disturbed and are useful for identification purposes only. Auger boring is fairly satisfactory for highway explorations at shallow depths and for exploring borrow pits. 5. Define penetration resistance The total blows required for the second and third 15 cm of penetration is termed as the penetration resistance N. 6. Define standard penetration number. The standard penetration number is equal to the number of blows required for 300 mm of penetration beyond a Siating drive of 150 mm. 7. Write the advantages of SCPT over SPT. There is no need of hammering action, just pushing into the ground. No need of boreholes, it is carried out on the ground. 
Engineering properties of the soil like permeability, shear strength, compressibility can be evaluated. 8. Write the expression for correction due to dilatancy submergence. The values n. 0 obtained after applying overburden correction is corrected further for dilatancy if the stratum consists of fine sand and silt below water table. For values of n greater than 15 using the following expression equals 15 plus 0 to 15 where n 0 equals corrected value for overburden effect 9 define the term dewatering the removal of excess water from the saturated soil mass is termed as drainage or dewatering the term dewatering is also used for lowering the water table to obtain a dry area in the vicinity of the excavation. How depth of borehole decided in soil exploration? The depth of boring depends upon the type of proposed structure, its total weight and the type of subsoil encountered. Though normally the depth of boring may be taken as 1.5 times the width of largest footing, but at least on boring should be made deep enough to ascertain the existence of any exceptionally compressible stratum, preferably up to rock. How is the depth of exploration decided? The depth of exploration required depends on the type of proposed structure, its total weight, the size, shape, and disposition of the loaded areas, soil profile and the physical properties of the soil that constitutes each individual stratum. What is meant by a non-representative sample? Name the laboratory tests that could be conducted on this sample. These samples comprise mixtures of materials from various soil or rock layers. Here, there are possibilities of removal or exchange of some mineral constituents by washing and sedimentation. Such examples also called wash or wet samples, are not a true representation of the mineral found at the bottom of the borehole. These samples are unsuitable for identification in laboratory tests. Define detailed exploration Detailed exploration follows as a supplement to general exploration when large engineering works, heavy loads, complex and costly foundations are involved. A detailed exploration is meant to furnish information about soil properties such as shear strength, compressibility, density index, and permeability. What is site reconnaissance? An inspection of the site and study of topographical features is often helpful in getting useful information about the soil and groundwater conditions and in deciding the future program of exploration. What is called slope? What are the types of slopes? An exposed ground surface that stands at an angle, I, with the horizontal is called slope. Slopes are required in the construction of highway and railway embankments, earth dams, levees and canals. 
These are constructed by sloping the lateral faces of the soil because slopes are generally less expensive than constructing walls. Slopes can be natural or man-made. When the ground surface is not horizontal a component of gravity will try to move the sloping soil mass downwards. Types of Slopes Finite Slopes Infinite Slopes Define Factor of Safety Factor of safety of a slope is defined as the ratio of average shear strength of soil to the average shear stress, developed along the potential failure surface. What are the factors of safety used in stability analysis of slopes? Factor of safety with respect to cohesion assuming to be fully mobilized. Factor of safety with respect to friction assuming to be fully mobilized. Factor of safety with respect to shear strength. Factor of safety with respect to height. What is stability number? In a slope, the component of the self-weight causes instability and the cohesion contributes to stability. The maximum height of a slope is directly proportional to unit cohesion, C, U, and inversely proportional to unit weight. In addition, H. C is also related to friction angle, F, and slope I. Draw the face, toe, and base failure of finite slopes. C figure. Draw the total stress analysis for pure cohesive soil. Analysis based on total stresses also called F equals zero analysis, gives the stability of an embankment immediately after its construction. It is assumed that the soil has had no time to drain and the shear strength parameters used relate to the undrained strength with respect to total stresses. These may be obtained from either unconfined compression test or an undrained triaxial test without pore pressure measurements. What are the effects on tension crack? It modifies the slip surface and reduces the length of the slip surface. It is usually filled with water and produces hydrostatic pressure along the depth. It acts as channel for water to flow into underlying soil layers, inducing seepage forces. It reduces the factor of safety if a tension crack of depth. 0 equals 2, slash develops, water will enter in the crack, exerting a hydrostatic pressure force PW acting on the portion D at a height Z. 0, 3 from E. Dot, hence the arc portion D will be ineffective in resisting the slide. Define slope angle. It is the angle of inclination of a slope to the horizontal. The slope angle is sometimes referred to as a ratio dot for example, 2 colon 1, horizontal, vertical. What is meant by face, toe, and base failure? 
face failure This type of failure occurs when the slope angle is large and when the soil at the toe portion is strong. Toe failure In this case the failure surface passes through the toe. This occurs when the slope is steep and homogeneous. Base failure In this case the failure surface passes below the toe. This generally occurs when the soil below the toe is relatively weak and soft. What is meant by rotational failure? This type of failure occurs by rotation along a slip surface by downward and outward movement of the soil mass. The slip surface is generally circular for homogeneous soil conditions and non-circular in case of non-homogeneous conditions. What is meant by compound failure? A compound failure is a combination of the rotational slips and translational slip. A compound failure surface is curved at the two ends and plane in the middle portion. A compound failure generally occurs when a hard stratum exists at considerable depth below the toe. Write down the assumption made in the analysis of slopes. The stress is assumed to be two-dimensional. Coulomb equation for shear strength is applicable and parameters C and are known. Seepage pressure was estimated from the assumed seepage conditions and water levels. The conditions of plastic failure are assumed to be satisfied along the critical surface. Define slope stability analysis. What are the types of stability analysis? Slope stability analysis consists of determining and comparing the shear stress developed along the potential rupture surface with the shear strength of the soil. Attention has to be paid to geology, surface drainage, groundwater, and the shear strength of soils in assessing slope stability. The Types of Stability Analysis Stability Analysis of Infinite Slopes Infinite Slopes in Dry Sand Infinite Slopes in Seaf Soil Stability Analysis of Finite Slopes What are the types of slip surface in a finite slope? Planar failure surface Circular failure surface Non-circular failure surface Planar failure surface may commonly occur in a soil deposit or embankment with a specific plane of weakness. It is common in stratified deposit and the failure plane is parallel to the strata. Define slip or failure zone and critical failure plane. It is a thin zone of soil that reaches the critical state or residual state and results in movement of the upper soil mass. Critical failure plane is defined as the plane along which the failure occurs in which the shear stress on the plane is less than the maximum shear stress. What is landslip? Allen slide, also known as Allen slip, is a form of mass wasting that includes a wide range of ground movements, such as rock falls, deep failure of slopes, and shallow debris flows. Landslides can occur in underwater, called a submarine landslide 
coastal and onshore environments. Write about the uses of friction circle method. This method uses total stress-based limit equilibrium approach. In this method the equilibrium of the resultant weight, W, the reaction, P, due to frictional resistance and the cohesive force, C, are considered. The magnitude direction and line of action of resultant weight, W, the line of action of the reaction force, P, and the cohesive force, C, being known the magnitude of P and C are determined by considering the triangle of forces. The friction circle method is useful for the stability analysis of slopes made of homogeneous soils. In this method, the slip surface is assumed to be an arc of a circle. Write about the critical slip circle by Fellenius direction angles. In case of slopes in homogeneous cohesive soil deposits, the center of a critical circle can be directly located by using Fellenius direction angles. Fellenius, 1936 has given direction angles a and s for various slopes as shown below. For any given slope the corresponding direction angles a and are set out from the base and the top as shown in figure. The point of intersection of these two lines is the center of critical circle. After locating the center of critical circle the method of slices can be adopted to obtain minimum FS. What is the wedge failure? A failure along an inclined plane is known as plane failure or wedge failure or block failure. It occurs when distinct blocks and wedges of the soil mass become separated. What is translation failure? A constant slope of unlimited extent and having uniform soil properties at the same depth below the free surface is known as an infinite slope. In practice, the slopes which are of considerable extent and in which the conditions on all verticals are adequately represented by average conditions are designated as infinite slopes. Translation failure occurs in an infinite slope along a long failure surface parallel to the slope. The shape of the failure surface is influenced by the presence of any hard stratum at a shallow depth below the slope surface. Translational failures may also occur along slopes of layered materials. Define infinite slopes. What are the cases of infinite slope in layered soils? If a slope represents the boundary surface of a semi-infinite soil mass, and the soil properties for all identical depths below the surface are constant, it is called an infinite slope. Three cases of stability analysis of infinite slopes are considered. Cohesionless soil Cohesive soil Cohesive frictional soil Define landslide Write about the failures on landslides. It is a relatively rapid lateral and downhill movement of a well-defined earth mass. Or landform 
it occurs due to gravitational and seepage forces. Failure of natural slopes, landslides, and man-made slopes has resulted in much death and destruction. Some failures are sudden and catastrophic, others are widespread. Some are localized. Civil engineers are expected to check the safety of natural slopes and excavation. Write about the condition of stability during steady seepage. When seepage occurs at a steady rate through an earth dam or embankment it represents critical condition for the stability of slope. When seepage occurs, poor water pressure, U, develops and this will reduce the effective stress which in turn decreases the shear strength along the failure surface. The following procedure is adopted to obtain stability. Draw the cross section of the slope. Draw the potential failure surface. Divide the soil mass into slices. Calculate the weight, W and the corresponding normal and tangential components for all the slices in the usual way. Define sliding A retaining structure has a tendency to move away from the backfill surface because of the horizontal driving forces resulting from the soil backfill and other forces such as surcharge. Generally, the wall resists sliding by the frictional resistance developed between the foundation of the wall and foundation soil. Define topple. This is a forward rotation of soil and or rock mass about an axis below the center of gravity of mass being displaced. Define effective stress. It is the nominal stress transmitted through the particle-to-particle -particle contact in soil. Effective stress equals the total stress minus the pore water pressure, or the total force in the soil grains divided by the gross cross-sectional area over which the force acts. The effective stress controls the shear strength and compressibility of the soil. Define effective stress analysis. When the poor water pressure exists in the embankment due to seepage, sudden drawdown, or due to any other reason, then stability should be computed based on effective stress analysis. Equals. Write the relation between strength envelope and angle of repose. If the normal and shear stress corresponding to failure are plotted, then a curve is obtained. The plot or the curve is called strength envelope. Angle of repose is defined as the maximum inclination of a plane at which a body remains in equilibrium over the inclined plane by the assistance of friction only. The earth particles lack in cohesion and have a definite angle of repose and angle of repose is equal to angle of friction, F. What is known as coefficient of earth pressure? When the retaining wall is moving away from the backfill then the ratio between lateral earth pressure and vertical earth pressure is called coefficient of active earth pressure. Equals 1 sin, slash 1 plus sin. When the retaining wall is moving towards the backfill, 
then the ratio between the lateral earth pressure and the vertical earth pressure is called the coefficient of passive earth pressure. Equals 1 plus sin, slash 1 sin. What is earth pressure at rest? What are the methods for calculating lateral earth pressure coefficients? The earth pressure at rest, exerted on the back of a rigid, unyielding retaining structure, can be calculated using theory of elasticity, assuming the soil the semi-infinite, homogeneous, elastic, and isotropic. Methods for calculating lateral earth pressure coefficients are Rankine's theory Coulomb's wedge theory Rebhan's method Coleman's method What is surcharge? The position of backfill lying above a horizontal plane at the elevation of the top of the wall is called the surcharge, and its inclination to the horizontal is called surcharge angle SS. What is the angle of wall friction? The resultant pressure acts on the back of the wall at one-third the height of the wall from the base and is inclined at an angle dis called the angle of wall friction. Define surcharge load A surcharge load results from forces that are applied along the surface of the back fill behind the wall. These forces apply an additional lateral force along the back of the wall. Surcharge pressures result from loads such as a line load, strip load, embankment load, traffic, such as a parking lot, floor loads, and temporary loads such as construction traffic and stockpiles of material. What is meant by conjugate plane and conjugate stresses? In finding out the active earth pressure for the backfill with sloping surface by Rankine's theory, an additional assumption that the vertical and lateral stresses are conjugate is made. It can be shown that if the stress on a given plane at a given point is parallel to another plane, the stress on the latter plane at the same point must be parallel to the first plane. Such planes are called the conjugate planes and the stresses acting on them are called conjugate stresses. State the assumptions made in Rankine's theory of earth pressure. The soil mass is homogeneous and semi-infinite. The soil is dry and cohesionless. The ground surface is plain, which may be horizontal or inclined. The back of the retaining wall is smooth and vertical. The soil element is in a state of plastic equilibrium. Write the assumption in Terzaghi's bearing capacity theory. The soil is homogeneous and isotropic and its shear strength is represented by Coulomb's equation. The strip footing has a rough base, and the problem is essentially two-dimensional. The elastic zone has straight boundaries inclined at equals F to the horizontal and the plastic zones fully develop. P P consists of three components which can be calculated separately and added, although the critical surfaces for these components are not identical. 
Failure zones do not extend above the horizontal plane through the base of the footing. Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.